good afternoon or morning, depending on when you're working on the course. Um, I want to add to um, the long list of uh, videos and links and folders and such uh, a little talk about the assignments that are due. Um, I, I've had some some uh, computer issues uh, this semester, so I've just uh, within the last uh, 15 minutes or so added a, an updated and revised correct syllabus for you. The only thing that changes uh, is the assignments, and I want to talk about those just a little bit. I've tried to clarify and simplify a bit, uh, focus in on the kind of assignments that will be constructive for you, uh, which will uh, in some ways assess your learning of the course, but, uh, but really give you an opportunity to practice a bit the development of critical thinking um, in, the, in the way that we frame that uh, as you will learn across this course. So uh, the, the correct syllabus has four items under the assigned work evaluation of learning and I want to, to mention those and go over them with you and, and speak a bit about how I'll, I'll grade your work. Uh, the first one, the preparation of a supplemental vocabulary uh, list. Um, you will have lots and lots of new terms and people you will encounter this semester in the textbook, in the lectures. Uh, the syllabus has, has a pretty good list of, of some of the big terms that we will work with and also the people that we will work with. And so I think it's very helpful to encourage you to keep a glossary for yourself, sort of a mixed conceptual glossary. It will have uh, new terms, new phrases, new ideas, new people, uh, and just a little bit, uh, a sentence or two uh, in definition or description or identification of who these people are, who these terms are. That would be helpful for you. Um, type that as you go, sort of keep a running file. At some point I'll have a Dropbox at the end of the semester and you can add that in to me. Uh, we're right towards the very end when you're finished with things. If you have questions about uh, how you're doing with it, uh, attach it to an email, send it to me. I'll take a look and give you input as we go along. Um, the second assignment um, is, uh, is a bit redundant from the syllabus, but it says in the syllabus that you will complete assignments 1, 2, 3, and 4, which are described in the, in the content of the ANGEL course, and it's just that simple. Uh, if you'll scan down the content page there, you'll find assignment 1, assignment 2, assignment 3, and assignment 4. These are worth 10% each of your grade for a total of 40% of the grade. There's a drop box for each one of those, directions for each assignment. Uh, and you can always ask questions as you go along. Um, they are approximately spaced um, every three or four weeks you should hit one of those assignments and do one of them. That's not exactly true, but give or take, that's about true. Uh, all of your work needs to be in to me the very last week of April. Um, and uh, I know in my opening video where I say watch this first, I, I know I filmed that at the beginning of a summer semester that was only six weeks long. That, that this is a full semester version of this course. Uh, we don't always offer it like this, but uh, there were a full class of students that wanted it, and so we, I put it up for everybody. So uh, this goes, you have all the way till the last week of April to get everything done, but for the sake of your learning, you should spread those assignments out as you go along. Uh, it, it will work better that way. The, um, um, the, the other thing I commented on in that video is true, and I'm referring to my opening Watch This First video. Some of you, I think maybe four in this class, are going to be graduating in the spring semester. And I need you to send me an email at some point in the next several weeks, uh, but send me an email and tell me, hey, I'm graduating. Uh, and that way I'll know to get your work graded quickly or more expeditiously so that I can have your, I, we have to turn in grades for graduating students a week sooner than everybody else. So you need to plan on the third week of April for all of your work if if you are graduating this spring semester. So I, I would make that comment. Now back to the assignment list. I talked about the vocabulary and, and uh, uh, roster and, and glossary you're going to be keeping for yourself. Um, the assignments 1, 2, 3, and 4 that are listed there. 
Uh, the third item is a, a written paper, an identity study project. I want you to write a paper about yourself, and I will give you some additional directions about this identity uh, paper that you will write um, later on, oh, a couple weeks down the road, I suppose. I'll post another video talking to you about this paper. I want you to think about yourself as a teacher or a school administrator, yourself um, as a professional educator. Um, uh, how, how how are you unique as a professional uh, in relationship with the, the person you are, the, the person you ha have become, having born at some point in time and, and grown to this stage of life? Uh, what are the various parts of your identity? And how do you bring those to bear as a professional? And I'll give you some more directions for that paper. That's a, that's a big written paper, probably five to eight pages or so, 30% of your grade. There will be a rubric attached for that and another video in a couple of weeks. And finally, uh, I will give a final written examination near the end of the semester. That is 10% of your grade. Um, and that is, of course, going to be open book, open notes. You will have the, the course website here, the Angel site, available to use uh, with any notes you've taken. Uh, and uh, it'll be some open-ended questions that I will ask you. Uh, and were I uh, you, I would most certainly know, at least in, in general terms, uh, most of the names listed in the syllabus when we get ready for that. All right, so the, these are the assignments, these four things for you this semester. They add up to that part of your grade. Um, and always, always, always ask me questions about it. With written work, I will always look at, uh, at uh, your drafts and give you feedback before you finish it. Um, and uh, I, my goal is that you do well with this, that you are thoughtful about it, and that you learn from it. I don't grade to penalize students. Uh, I assign grades to give you a sense of, of the graduate level with which you've undertaken work. So uh, don't let that be a, an issue for you. All right. Uh, again, if you have questions, send me an email. All right. Bye-bye.